up. This is your fucking moment. You only get one moment in life. My throat's sore, I've had a sore throat for a month and a half, and this is not an acoustic environment that's suitable to request this from me. I don't, don't give a fuck. Your language is offensive. Fuck you. It's called my fuck. You ever been my fuck before? Hiding your values in your anus. <gasps> Why does this keep happening to me? Broadcasting live from the Cocaine Energy Supplement Studio in downtown Cleveland. This is the funnest night ever. <laughs> and my nipples. I'll take two. On MorningShowCentral.com. Don't interrupt me again. Okay. Okay. You think you got issues? Please. In my, and wait till you get a load of these clowns. Who the fuck are you? Come here to get your weekly fix of Sick and Twisted. Yeah, it's got its tongue up my ass. No! No, 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 no. It's uncensored net noise. Come on in. Oh, and bring your whore. We'll all do some blood. What the fuck's going on? On MorningShowCentral.com. Yeah, that was uh, probably the first sign of the apocalypse. Previously, Previously on Uncensored Net Noise. Okay, before we went to the interview with Jamie Kirby, we had uh, a story about a guy that spilled his food and there's a fight, a fight and, broke out and yeah, death and yeah. all, destruction. Now this kid drops his cereal and I got to say something about Detroit. You guys are idiots. I'm sorry, dude. I live in Cleveland and you guys are idiots. Is Detroit that retarded where they want to fight everybody that they, they see? <laughs> Everything is closing in. All this is You gonna turn the camera on? Oh, look, there I am. Freaking Joe Dirt. Hey, you wanted me to run this for I know. You wanna turn it down a little bit? There you go. You're a work in progress. Hey, we, we talked about this before the show. We're not doing that pausing that you do. I know. But I want to listen to my song, though. All right, guys. We got a pretty good show for you guys tonight. We got a band in studio right now. Raise on Redemption. They're going to be here about 9.30 tonight. We're going to talk to them and uh, find out what's going on. They're, br- they're a brand new band here in Cleveland. And they haven't really played out anywhere yet. they got a brand new song that they're going to... I don't know if they... Well, they already put it out, so, but they're going to debut it here on Uncensored Net Noise. So about 9.30 tonight, we're going to have those guys in studio. And they're also going to do an acoustic performance for us. And uh, as you can see... Next to me over here should have been Corey from Morality Check, but he's not here yet. So, I don't know where he's at. Maybe he's caught in the snow or something or whatever the case may be, but uh, he was supposed to be here tonight hanging out with me. I haven't got a text yet. I don't know where he's at. He sort of reminds me of JR. <laughs> you know, you don't know when JR is going to show up or when he's going to uh, end up uh, just popping his head in the studio. So, uh, we haven't seen JR in probably about, what? what is it, about two months? Two months, three months, something like that so far? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think the last show he did was right around Thanksgiving. Yeah, somewhere around there. What'd you do over the weekend, Joe Dirt? Uh, you know, work. That's it? Yeah. Getting ready to, you know, move out. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you, we were talking about that last week after the show. Yeah, you, you get yourself you got yourself a new apartment and everything. New so apartment. yeah. So did you sign the papers? You're in now. Uh, I I don't officially move in until February 10th. Okay. Okay. Everything pretty much right now is good to go. Okay. Okay. All right. 
You can start fading that down, Joan. Come on in here with me until uh, Corey gets here. All right. We uh, got a lot to talk. We got a lot to talk about tonight. We got uh, the band in studio. We got a bunch of crazy stories. I also got this Tebow video that I want to show a little later on tonight. I guess Tebow, uh, I guess somebody decided to make a new song for Tebow or something. Well, it's not, you know, the, the old St. Elmo's Fire video that was out. Well, uh, evidently, uh, they uh, came out with a brand new song for Tim Tebow, the St. Elmo's Fire thing or whatever the case may be. So we're going to play that a little later tonight and uh, find out uh, what's your guys' reaction to that. It's th- Tebow mania. I thought it was retarded, man. <laughs> I really did. I thought it was really, really retarded. I- man, that's the first time I've ever been in this Really? This room. Yeah. Yeah. Well, doing the show. The last time we were here doing the show, actually in in the studio, um, we had uh, the old set. Remember the old set? Yeah. Well, I don't remember because anytime you guys did shows out here, I was in there. Yeah, that's true. So. So hey. Well, we're on autopilot we're, in there. Let's hope the yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope the guy nothing breaks in there. Yeah. You know we're we're stepping into the new age. You know where robots are taking over. Yeah. The board. We don't have a. We don't even have a. An intern in there to run the board. We don't even know if we're actually broadcasting right now. <laughs> so, hopefully we hey, are, though. It's not my fault if we're not. Well, we'll see. All right. Um, what do we got over there in the news, Joe Dirt? We got a bunch of stories before we get to the band. All righty. Really, how many times do we have to say this? If, you're a, if your drug dealer shorts you, steals your money, or provides a substance other than huh. illegal than the illegal one saw do not call 911. Suzanne Basham, 47 years old, made that mistake yesterday morning okay. when she dialed police in Springsville, Missouri, uh-huh. to report that she had paid $40 for a crack cocaine that turned out to be sugar, according to an incident report. If you're dumb enough to go out and uh, buy crack cocaine and then call the cops because, oh, I don't know, it's sugar, <laughs> you should go to jail. You know, I, I, how stupid can you be? You, you're... You, you're doing something illegal in the first place, and then you're going to call the cops and say, look, I got shortchanged, uh, you know, my dime bag of crack or whatever they call it nowadays. I have no idea what they call crack, dude. I don't do it, so I don't know. The powder. Whatever. I don't know. So I'm not a drug dealer. Do uh, I look like a drug dealer? Sometimes. You look like one of those Amish dudes that got their beard cut off. I got the, uh, the Amish beard going on. <laughs> exactly. My whole family's been making fun of me for that. <laughs> so either I'm going to shave or I'm going to let the mustache grow in. That way it's not Amish. That's funny. So she got she got arrested. She's in jail right now. Yes. Yeah. It, well, it serves her right for going out and uh, calling the cops because she got sugar instead of the the real deal. I guess I don't know. Whatever. All right. What else we got? All right. A 43 year old father is charged with aggravated battery after he allegedly attacked his adult son with a meat cleaver following an argument over burnt biscuits this past Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, Wood. I hate when I I hate when my wife makes me burnt biscuits, man. I, I go around the house yeah. chasing her with a cleaver. Yeah, don't burn the biscuits. Don't burn the bacon. Look, I I love I I mean I love food. I'm a fat kid and I love food, but the thing is is that I'm not gonna go chase my wife around the house because, you know, she burnt something or whatever the case may be. I mean, I had a lot of burnt dinners in my life, you know, and a lot of bad dinners in my life. But I'm not gonna go around the house running after whoever made the dinner and tell them. You know, I'm going to kill you or stab you in the neck with a cleaver because, <laughs> you know, you burnt the dinner. I mean, common, I mean, this guy must have been harder for food or he was just – maybe he was doing crack. I don't know. Well, looks like he's had food before in his life. Oh, yeah, he had a lot of food, He's, dude. A, he's a big dude. Yeah. So <laughs> so was he charged? Was he arrested yeah, well, or anything? Continuing with the story, Harry Woods the third was charged for using this meat cleaver to cause bodily harm on his 24-year-old son. The altercation reportedly occurred after the father and son had a verbal argument about overcooked biscuits. The suspect allegedly grabbed a meat cleaver and shoved it under his son's neck, threatening to kill him. Wow. He was arrested, and his bond is set at $20,000. Wow, dude. That's insane. She took a meat cleaver and shoved it (laughs) up under his neck, man. I mean... Don't you ever burn my face. <laughs> I will kill you. Exactly. Like Ahmed I mean, the dead terrorist. Right. I, well, I wasn't thinking that, but I, if you if you really think about it, I mean, come on. I mean, the guy was actually 
bitching about burnt biscuits. I mean, how how, I mean, how, how lame can you be? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, dude. It's weird. Whatever. Hey, hey, there's a lot of weird people out here. I guess. I guess. Whatever. All right. Yeah. Got another story here out of Lafayette, Indiana. Police say a man in Indiana accused of stealing a car threatened to hunt down and eat his arresting officers, their families, and police dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy gets arrested, and then he goes and hunts down the officer that arrested him, and it so happened to be a police dog. And uh, now he wants to take a meat cleaver to it, <laughs> chop it up in little pieces, and uh, all these stories eat are it. connected. I, yes. I, I guess, man. A lot of that's look, the theme of the tonight show. Look, there's meat a, cleavers. There's a lot of crazy, crazy things that go on in this world, man. And you know, 2012. You know, what do they say? Yes. December 21st, 2012 is the last, yep. the end of the world, or whatever the case may it's be. The end of the world, and that day is on a Friday, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we're still going to be here broadcasting. We're going to be broadcasting the last day of life. Right. So, if you have internet service while the Earth is ending, um, tune in. <laughs> All right. All right. So go All on. Right, we'll continue with the story. Um, 39-year-old Paul Brock of Frankfurt, Indiana, was charged Wednesday with auto theft, resisting law enforcement. Intimidation and operating a vehicle while intoxicated. Hmm. Police in Lafayette, 60 miles northwest of Indianapolis, used dogs to subdue Brock during his arrest on Friday. Hmm. Police say Brock later told officers that he would hunt them down and eat them, their families, and their dogs. This guy's a cannibal or something. <laughs> he had a blood alcohol content more than three times Indiana's legal limit. You think? <laughs> he was jailed and set on $25,000 bond. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> I I got nothing for that one, dude. I have nothing at all for that one. I have nothing. It's just weird. I mean, it, it, you're going to go and tell a cop. Like, I'm going to kill I'm you, gonna kill your, you family, your family, and your, and dog. your dog. Right. And, and, you, and you expect, oh, I'm not going to go to jail because I threatened a cop. Yes, you are, you retard. You're going to go to jail. And plus, you're three times over the limit in yep. your blood alcohol level. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I mean, you could take that in consideration. You probably say, well, you know, you know probably complete insanity or something like yeah. that, and hopefully that works for you. But um, uh, Maybe, good luck, good luck trying to get the the judge to believe that you were insane when you told the cop you were going to eat his dog. <laughs> you know. Uh, well, no, no, never mind. Well, go on. All right. A seventy-year-old paralytic patient admitted in the ICU of a government hospital was bitten by rats. Look. I see a lot of posts on Facebook, on our uh, Morning Show Central Facebook and our Uncensored Net Noise Facebook a lot, talking about, oh, the health care in the United States, it sucks, and this, that, and the other. We have the worst health care in the United States, and, you know, Canada's got it better than us. and Free health care. Free health care in overseas and Europe and all the other crazy. Dude, we don't have rats, man, <laughs> eating us while we're, you know, we're in the while hospital, we're, man. We're paralyzed. Yeah, we're paralyzed in, in, in the hospital, and, and a rat comes up and starts eating on you. I, I It's it's insane. I mean, I'd I rather have no health care, um, higher rates for my health care, than go into a hospital and get eaten by rats. I mean, at least the hospitals that you go into, even though you don't have health care insurance, you're not going to have to worry about a rat jumping up in your bed, eating your eyeballs out. Yes. The patient, Mohammed Iqbal, or Akbal, whatever, however yeah. you say the last name. It's overseas, name, though, whatever. Suffered rat bites on his face and his ears. Attendants who were fast asleep woke up on hearing a glass crash to the floor. Quote, we saw some rats running around and realized that the patient's lips, nose, eyelids, and ears were cut and bleeding. The ventilator tube attached to his neck was also cut. Lawsuit. an attendant. They soon alerted the senior staff, who immediately attended to Muhammad. But could you really sue, like, a third-world uh, hospital or something like that? Could you really do that? I mean, I don't know, dude. I, it's bad enough over there. They have poor health care service as it is, and, and they have to worry about rats eating them when you're in there. Could you imagine going into a hospital, you know, you get you go in there and you have a broken leg and you're sitting in triage and all of a sudden this giant two foot rat comes up and says hi to you and starts gnawing at your leg and shit? I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you know, at least here in the United States, you go to a hospital, it's kind of, you know, it's clean, at least, you know, you think it's clean. Yeah, usually it's yeah. free of rodents. It's free of rodents and, and stuff like that. So I, you, you feel safe, right? Not in this hospital, man. You have to, <laughs> you have to go in there with a 12 gauge and, Start shooting rats and stuff just to, you know, get your 
you know, your service or whatever you need to get done to you or something like that. Could you imagine? Could you imagine a guy coming in with a heart attack, and then and, and they start pumping on his chest to try to revive his ass, and a rat just jumps up and starts gnawing out on his face and his eyeballs and you know his nose and stuff like that. I mean, it's just I don't know. It just fans me yeah, just, just or, to think, you know. Yeah, or if they're you know perform an operation, right? Like a rat like jumps inside well, how of do a you, person. Yeah, and how do you know that the rat didn't jump up on your sterilized equipment that you know that you're supposed to cut a person open when you're doing surgery on them or whatever? I mean, so gonna get rat poisoning. Or, or, yeah, and then on top of that, all these rats they carry so much diseases, and this guy that's paralyzed, you might as well just put him out of his misery and just kill him because now he's probably got, you know. Whatever you know, the, the hepatitis, Ooh, whatever you know, or the, or the clap, the clap, right. or something, <laughs> or chlamydia, or something like that. Now from this rat, I don't know, but it's just, it's just, it's just crazy that you you, you know you go to a hospital and you know you, you expect to get the good treatment and you don't, and you get rats. All right. What else you got? All right. When you call a company or a government agency for help, there's a good chance the person on the other end of the line. Is a prison inmate. That this is messed up, dude. I was reading this story a little earlier today, and it kind of it kind of pissed me off a little bit though because, okay, let's say hypothetically you call in to you know uh, a government building because all they're, 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 it's a call center for for uh, government uh, issues or whatever the case may be. But let's say you call in. Um, let's say they're taking calls for like the uh, traffic, you know, for traffic tickets or whatever the case may be. And then you call in and you want to pay for your traffic ticket or whatever. And you've got a prison inmate on the other end of the line taking the credit card information. I, dude, that's insane. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to get... Uh, not let me, actually, let me have your social security uh, number uh, right. and you give that away and then you're just... Right. And then, you're effed. But then you think, well, the, you know, I read the article. They said, well, none of the inmates or anybody, you know, they walk out with personal information or nothing like that. You know, they... Uh, um, uh, we make sure that we pat them down, dude. They can they can remember they can memorize the, the your credit card number or whatever they want, dude. How do you know that they're not going to take it back to their cell and write it on a piece of paper and then you know start charging up your credit card when they make their collect call to their you know their their dealer or something like that or uh, you know, their baby's mama or something like that just to you know talk to them because or or, or put money in their commissary, right. You know, so I mean, you you don't know this I, now. Just thinking about, it, I'm, I don't trust it now. You know, I'd rather just go in person and pay my bill in front of somebody that uh, I can trust. All right. Well, continuing with the story, the federal government calls it "quote the best kept secret in outsourcing." No, it's called laziness. <laughs> it's 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 <laughs> called it's called putting Americans out of business and putting Americans out of out of jobs because they 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 figure, well, we got all these inmates, we'll just we'll get them for like scab labor and and have them come in there and just do the job that we pay a guy that uh, uh, ten bucks or eleven bucks an hour, we'll save a bunch of money and just have the inmates come in there and answer our phone calls. It's just laziness, is what it is. Yes. Go on. All right. The, the U.S. government, through a 75-year-old program called Federal Prison Industries, makes about $750 million a year a year yeah. for providing prison labor. Federal records show this. Mm-hmm. The great majority of those contracts are with other federal agencies for services as diverse as laundry, construction, data conversion, and manufacture of emergency equipment. You just said it, data conversion. Okay, if you don't know what data conversion is, it's basically, you know, uh, dealing with personal information from uh, someone that lives in the city. So I'm not going to trust that. Yeah, giving out your personal information. Right, exactly. Who, what might be, you know, a prison inmate. Ex- exactly. You know, I, I'm not going to trust that crap, dude. That's messed up, dude. What does this world come to? What does this country come I, to? It's coming to a bunch of laziness. That's what it is. I mean, a lot of these bit. Look, I've, I've noticed a lot of businesses here in, in Cleveland and in the surrounding areas, the suburbs and stuff like that that I drive through or whatever, or I'm just passing by and I'm like, wasn't there a, a whatever there, a, you know, whatever business was there? And then two days later, it's gone, you know? And it, it's sad to see that. And then I'm watching the news today and they're saying, Oh, manufacturing jobs are alive and well here in Ohio, and we're about ready to open up the other part of the steel plant and bring 150 labor jobs to Ohio and this, that, and the other, and Cleveland area, and all this other crap. And I'm like, really? Yeah. Um, 
what, why didn't you guys do that maybe years ago when <laughs> we were, yeah. you know, going down the road of yeah, no we, return? When we were declining, not when we were at right. the bottom. Why wait until the last minute to do it? I mean, you should, I mean, the thing is, is that a, a lot of these companies are like moving out of the United States and moving out of Cleveland and, you know, all these other uh, cities are, are across the country. And, and the reason for it is because of, of taxes. They don't want to give, um, Tax tax breaks to uh, these uh, companies, and they they rather uh, you know charge them out the ass to have their company in their city or whatever, and that's the same problem we're having right now with this uh, casino thing. It's all about uh, you know how much money the city's going to make and how much money the state's going to make from this casino and this that and the other, and they're they're fighting over you know uh, they're, they're putting a halt to construction because you know they don't know when uh, or how it's all going to work and. Uh, the you know, but this thing's been voted on. the The voters of Cleveland and, and Ohio have already voted on this, and they said, "Yeah, we want a casino." So, what's the holdup? You know, let's do this. You know, let's get it done. But I myself, I really don't. I I'm not really for the casino. You know, I mean, look at Detroit. I mean, yeah, it's you put they put a casino in there thinking it was going to bring up the economy no it, it doesn't all it does is just drive more people to go there spend money at the casino and it doesn't put more money into the city or into the into the state it just makes more people more broke because now they're spending all their hard earned dollars at the at the casino and trying to make it rich there you know anytime you go to a casino and you think oh i'm going to I'll play a hundred bucks. I'll go to the casino and, and play a hundred dollars or whatever the case may be. Yeah. You blow the hundred dollars. Okay, that's fine. You know, you had a good time. You know, it's like it's like a night at the strip club or something. But you you go and and uh, you blow. I would know, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you blow a hundred dollars at the casino. It, it turns into two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, and by the time you're done, you blow your whole entire paycheck. Yeah. You come out, you know. Losing more than what you actually have. Exactly. You know? So I'm, I'm kind of for the casino, and I'm not for the casino because there. I mean, it's a catch twenty two. It's going to bring jobs here, of course. It's going to get people paid, but on the other hand, it's also going to make people broke because they're going to be spending their hard earned money, you know, at uh, at a casino. At, at a casino, you know, trying to. Oh, I'm going to roll this dice and hopefully I'll get seven and and. Not crap out, but uh, they do. Yeah. And the majority right. of the time, you're probably going to have more people leaving with less than what they came in with. Right. Yeah, so it's crazy, though. All right, what else you got? One more. All right, story out of California. Police have charged a 46-year-old woman with felony child abuse after she allegedly bit a toddler and an infant in a bookstore. That's crazy. CNN reports that. Okay, you got burnt biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> you got a guy... Meat with, cleaver. With, with, yeah, with a meat cleaver. With the, with the, and then you got a guy getting bit by rats. Now you got a kid being bit by his mother in, in a bookstore. Awesome. Yes. Go on. All right. CNN reports that Polly Beltramo was arrested Thursday after fleeing the bookstore and being found in a nearby coffee shop. Okay. Bookstore bookstore owner Ramutari Reed. Hopefully I pronounced that name right. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Go ahead. Told CNN that. He saw a two-year-old girl running toward the front of the shop, crying with a red welt on her cheek. Quote, suddenly a little boy, who was just a couple months old, started screaming. Reed told CNN affiliate KGO-TV, quote, I went to him and his cheek was bleeding. She must have been hungry. That's all I got to say. She's got to be hungry. Hungry for yeah, uh, human flesh? Something, dude. I mean, it's just weird to me that you got a little kid that... Uh, you know, he's in a bookstore with his mother, and I don't know what he did to get bit, but, I mean, that's something you don't do. You don't scold your kid by biting him. Yeah. It's, it, it, actually, it wasn't even her kids, apparently. Well, it, was, who, who, right. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's her kid or if it's her, you know, one of her relatives' kids or a friend's kid. Why is she biting the kid in the first place? I mean, that's not a way. That's not the way to, uh, to actually... Uh, uh, scold a kid or uh, reprimand a kid by biting him on the cheek. It's kind of retarded, man. <laughs> you know, I it, it, to me, it, it, if you're gonna scold a kid, it's like you know, like if my daughter, take for instance, my daughter, she gets in, you know, she starts acting up or something like that in the store. All I gotta do is look at her. I look at her, I point my finger, and she's she's gold. I have no problem with her because I I, ne- I never laid a hand on her. Never, ever laid her hand on her. She just knows that dad's pissed off and I shouldn't do it anymore, and she knows better. 
Right. You know, if this kid was acting up in the bookstore, okay, that's fine. But you don't go and bite the kid on the cheek and, and expect, you know, you know, nothing to happen. Right. Yeah. You, yeah. Because it's going to happen. Someone's going to see it and they're going to go, oh my God, this lady just bit this, this child. And, oh, maybe we should call 696 kids on, on this lady and have DC, DCF come in or whatever the hell thing's called and have them come in and, um, uh, take care of the, of the matter. You know, it, it's just, I don't know, dude. That's just, it's, it's wrong. You know, it's just wrong. You don't do that, though. All right. Nope. You ready to go to break, Joe? Here. All right. Now you got to leave now. Go do the break now. See, if Corey yes. was here, if Corey was here, we would have it. We wouldn't. We wouldn't have this issue. So you just got to bounce real quick. Yes. You know. So, and I'll just uh, thank you, Corey, for showing up. By the way. Right. Exactly. But anyways, next after when Joe Dirt, he's going to go into the into the other room. See, he's ducking right now, and he just fell on his ass. That's funny, dude. You just fell on your ass. <laughs> I wish the camera was on you. That was hilarious, dude. But when we come back, we're going to have race, uh, race reduction coming on next, and we're going to talk to them for a little bit and uh, find out what's going on with them. Like I said, they're a brand-new band. Here that was Cl- not funny, by the way. Yeah, that, it was. That hurt my knee. That was hilarious, dude. You took a tumble, and that was funny. But are you okay, though? I'm good. All right, cool. I'm a gamer. All right, you're a gamer. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. Uncensored net noise. It's electronic. Yeah, so is my vibrator. But I don't have to sit in the chair and listen to it for an hour and a half. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise right here on MorningShowCentral.com. Hey, hey, this is Joe Dirt, and you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. MSC Radio Network has just tweeted the following. This bowel movement won't come out. Get it. Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash MSC Radio Network. Having problems with your home computer or business PC? Looking to have some upgrade work completed on your computer? Have a special project in mind that may be too much for you to undertake alone? Time to call Joe the Printer Guy! Joe the Printer Guy offers a full-service hardware and software repair center at his facility to handle your PC, server, and networking needs. Let their professional service staff handle your computer needs. They offer expert service at an affordable price. Visit Joe the Printer Guy at 1403. Madison Avenue, Lakewood, Ohio. Online, JoeThePrinterGuy.com or give him a call at 216-651-3880. Joe the Printer Guy. Cocaine energy supplement due to great consumer demand. Redux Beverages has officially announced the return of its world famous cocaine energy supplement. It's now available at retail locations across the country as well as online at RedoxDirect.com. That's RedoxDirect.com. Don't forget to be part of the all new cocaine Energy Supplement Social Network, where you can meet other Cocaine Energy Supplement fans from around the world. Cocaine Energy Supplement, you can become a member. You can become a member by logging on to lovecocaine.com. Rise above the clutter, brand your identity, and make a statement. Broken Fan Media, expert video production, television and web commercials, music video, real estate tours, live concerts and events, state-of-the-art post-production, video and audio editing. Check us out on the web at brokenfanmedia.com, 434-944-0472. Broken Fan Media, the next generation of sight and sound. Hey, Unsigned Fans. You are jam-packed. Hey, Unsigned Fans. Want your music heard? Yeah! Shoot us an email with the name of the band and the MP3 of the song. Send it to show at morningshowcentral.com. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on morningshowcentral.com. If you live the lifestyle, then you should arrive in style. Lifestyle limousine service. Whether it's dinner for two, an evening at the winery, or a night out on the town, Lifestyle Limousine provides extraordinary service. Check them out on the web, lifestylelimousineservice.com. Reserve your ride now. 330-903-0508. 330-903-0508. Lifestyle limousine service. And make sure you tell them Morning Show Central Radio Network sent you. Looking for reliable and affordable shoutcast audio or video hosting? JWN Media offers complete shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control.
control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits. A 99.5% uptime guarantee and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only $3 a month, you have no excuse not to get a server of your own. Plus, with the option to add auto DJ and on-demand services, you can be confident your station will be all it can be. Custom plans are also available at their website. Simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the Shoutcast hosting link to get started right now. Coming at you from the rock and roll capital, it's an exciting and fast-paced global forum with the man who knows how to help get your band even better. Yeah. Doc Rock tackles industry issues with informed guests and invites your questions, concerns, and tales of band life. There's never a dull moment in Doc's world of showbiz. He cares about artist issues and escalating your talents. So make an appointment with Doc Rock on Band-Aid. Thank you. Tuesday night, starting at 9.05, only on MorningShowCentral.com. Join host Brian for Dominion Live Chicago every Friday night, 11 p.m. Central to 1 a.m. Right here. Right here on MorningShowCentral.com. Got time in your hands? Send us an email. Hit the contact us page on MorningShowCentral.com. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. Uncensored Net Noise. Every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, on Morning Show Central Radio Network. MorningShowCentral.com. Don't touch that mouse. Besides, you don't run the same gag twice. You do the next gag. MorningShowCentral.com. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. What do you need to know about the Sunday Hangover Show? <laughs> Says it all. Leave it alone, man. The Sunday Hangover Show. Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. on MorningShowCentral.com. <laughs> Prepare to get your cock rock to Kingdom Come. Welcome back to the show that doesn't discriminate. We'll bang everyone equally. You can handle that? You got a job. It's uncensored net noise. From the Cocaine Energy Supplement Studio, you're listening. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. It's Uncensored Net Noise. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. Live on MorningShowCentral.com. If you'd like to call the show, 
on Uncensored Net Noise. Anything new that maybe Redux is going to put out uh, very shortly? Uh, we're about to put our Russian drink out, which is a different formulation to meet their rules, and we're excited about that that we're doing now. Right. Um, the shot's doing well, and we got a couple of things we're working on. You know, we, we still have our uh, smoke shot that we're, we're just trying to pick the right time to release it. Right. And uh, we're trying to get some some distribution. We're working, uh, we're trying to get into GMC, which would be nice for us. That would be nice. <laughs> that would be really nice, though. <laughs> <laughs> some people say that Chris is the devil himself. <laughs> The devil probably has more hair. It's uncensored. It's uncensored net noise. Ha! Yes, P. Diddy. Yes. I was hoping we were going to P. Diddy tonight. He usually shows up in the, re- on the intro. Yeah, but not tonight. I know. That'll work, though. All right, you want to call the show? The number is 888-668-0742. Or get to the website, morningshowcentral.com. Jump in the chat. Got a lot of people in the chat right now. A lot of people in there right now. Nice. Yeah. So you got all the mics spotted up, Joe? He's getting it. He's working on it. He's new to this, guys. Well, not new. Not new. But he, talking about. Yeah, he's sort of. I can cut all your mics off right now. I'll do the show by myself. Okay. <laughs> I'll go home if you want. It's snowing. I got a nice dinner at home waiting for me. Burnt biscuits? Yeah, burnt biscuits. Burnt biscuits are the best. Yeah. Um, You good back her, Joe? All right, good. All right. All right, like I said, you want to call the show? Numbers 888-668-0742. I'm here with the band right now, and you guys are... uh, are a brand new band, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. And um, how did the band get together? I mean, there's got to be some sort of, you know, like a bunch of friends are sitting around, like, oh, we're just going to make a band. And you know, how did they come? How did how, how did this band come together? I think we used to be a whole completely other band. Yeah. Way back in like high school. Eons ago. Eons ago. Yeah. Yeah. And the three uh, of us was what like oh four. Uh, oh four, oh yeah. five. Started normally. Really. Just, um, yeah. Like, okay. Hey, let's start a band. And then, uh, okay. Well, let me let me rephrase it a little bit. So you guys decided, um, okay, back in the day, you were, you know you're already in a band or whatever. How did this band come together, though? I mean, you guys were already already working with a, a you know in a band or something like that, or, yeah. you know, or whatever. But how did this one come together? Well, we uh, we previously had another singer, and she just didn't really work out okay. as well as we wanted. Um, and then we found her through Craigslist and. Craigslist. Really? Yep. Shit just yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah. Really? Craigslist. <laughs> and, and have you heard what happens on Craigslist? Yeah, I expected like a serial killer to show up yeah. at their house, but no, it was, you know. Wow, yep. dude. Yep. She still it. might be a serial killer. Well, I don't know. Well, I have I have references. She's good. All right, so I, I did my research. She's good. Okay, good. Um, but but the thing but the thing is is that Dude, that that's freaky. Craigslist, dude. Bands are now using Craigslist to you know find singers and drummers and guitarists. That's just creepy, dude. I I I would uh, no no that would be me, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. If, if, if I was if I was putting a band together and I'm like, okay, I need to find a drummer. I need to find a good drummer or something. Well, I'm not gonna put a Craigslist lad up though. No. Yeah. That's no, dude. You don't do that. <laughs> it's okay. We're retarded. All right. Well, Apparently, all right. Yeah. it worked. It worked. Well, at least it worked out for you guys. You know, I, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, you guys got your band formed and no one got murdered. No. You know? <laughs> but, um, yeah, just be careful. If, you know, don't buy anything on Craigslist, though. You know, they might tell you, you know, uh, yeah, we got a set of drums that you guys can buy. Just meet us back behind this target. We'll get them for you. <laughs> And then a guy with a meat meat cleaver comes out and just slices your neck off or something like that. You know, you got to be careful, though. I was also looking at some of the pictures on your Facebook page. Now, I I, I know where those pictures were taken. Uh, fear experience? No. No, 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 no I, I'm wrong. No. I'm wrong. Yes. Okay, so where were they taken? Forsaken haunted house. That really? In, in okay. Better, right? Great yes. people. Like Ohio. Great guys. Okay. Great guys. Yeah, those are really cool pictures, though. Thank Thank you. I like those. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. And um, so, who's the uh, oldest in the band? 
I am. Really? The yeah. murderer. I think so, yeah. yeah the murderer. No the way. Murderer. <laughs> Wait, you're... Well, well, it's not polite to ask the ladies your age, though, but, you know, how old are you? She's 25. an old psycho. You're 25? How old are you? Yeah. I'm going to be 23. How old are you? 24. You? 21. 21. Really? You guys are just old enough to drink, basically. <laughs> Pretty dude, much. I'm the oldest guy here. I'm like thir- almost 40. There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay. Yeah, it is, dude. I'm almost dead. You can still party. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm almost dead, dude. I'm glad this is the last year, you know, 2012 is coming, you know, December 21st. You know, exactly. we're all going to die anyway, exactly. so. Live it up. That'll work, though. Do we have a phone call or something, Joe Dirt? All right, Uncensored Net Noise, you're on the air. What's up? Yo. Yo, what's up? Hey, listen, I just heard uh, the new single from this band. They are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. you. You like that? Oh, I dig it. It's really cool. Who is this? And then where are you calling from? This is Smooth. I'm calling from Cleveland. Awesome. So what did you like about the song, Smooth? I really like uh, like the intro, and I'm really digging the vocals. Awesome. Okay. Thanks. Now, would you, now okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, would you go see these guys live? Oh, absolutely. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, like maybe 1, maybe 10, you know, absolutely go. Um... Eleven. Eleven. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. There you go. Thank you very wow. much. That's my boner right there. There you go. So I gotta, nice. Hang on. I gotta fix this. <laughs> gotta fix this. Right. Very <laughs> soon, smooth. Very soon. Did you? Wait, listen. I I got a split, but I I just wanted to compliment the band. I think they're awesome, and uh, thank you. I'll be looking for their first show. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Right. thank you. Did you pay this guy off? No. All right. No. All right. Cool. All right. So when looking at the looking back at everything that you guys uh, have accomplished so far in the band, I mean. What are some of your goals that you guys want to accomplish with this band? There's a lot. There's, there's, yeah, a, there's lot. a lot. There's definitely a lot. Yeah. And promotion. Uh, promotion. Perfection. We want our, our music to be heard. That's yeah. our biggest thing we want okay. to be heard. Well, it's going mean, to be heard. Guess. It's going to be heard on MSC. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yes. Love we'll, we'll play it more and more and more often now for you guys, too, as Good. much as we possibly Good. can. Good. All right. Now, yeah. I'm going to ask this question to you. If there was any place in the entire world that you want to play, where would it be and why? Peabody's. No, I would, <laughs> dude, I'm going to knock the fuck out of you. I swear to God, every fucking van that comes in here, I swear to God, they say, oh, that's, that's Peabody's. A, that's everybody's favorite place, yeah. apparently. Sure. Coming here. Wait a minute, we love you, Chris. Peabody's. We love you, Chris. That is so oh, my God. You know what? No, it's nothing against Peabody's and Chris or nothing. It's like, think outside the spectrum, yeah, the box, no. dude. Madison Square Garden. You know, overseas at, you know, one of the, the metal fest or something like that. You know, oh, I want to play at Peabody's. <laughs> I would say. Well, okay. Look, I think every band in Cleveland played at Peabody's. Nothing yeah. wrong with that, but, you know, I don't know. played at Peabody's. Oh, well, I know. You guys are new, but you guys um, will. I want to play I'm, anywhere I mean? in Vegas. I was anywhere. just going to say, yeah, L.A. L.A.? I love to play Las Vegas. Vegas. Las Vegas. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man, yeah, Vegas, Cali, dude. Cali's awesome. Portland, yeah, Oregon. Cali too. Portland, yeah. Sturgis. Gotta give a huge shout out to Joe Nelson. Joe Nelson in Portland, listening. Oregon, one yes. of our biggest fans. Big fan of I would love to go out there and play. Sturgis. What about the Sturgis. metal fest in yeah. Europe? Definitely. Yeah. 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 You know, Take that's... your talents to South Beach. There you go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody can do that too. Yeah. Everywhere. That's right. the answer. Everywhere. I think. Look, there's a show on True TV. I, I'm a like a reality TV nut guy, and there's this one show that it's uh, a what the hell is the name of that bar show? Um, God, it's a saloon in in Vegas or something like that. Or, no, yeah, I believe that's believe it was where it's at though. And and they have stir. Uh, it's in, a bunch of Sturgis riders come in and stuff like that. And it's like this biggest uh, venue on the face of the earth in Vegas and stuff. And they had like Slipknot play there. They had like uh, all these huge bands. Van Halen just you know went and played there not too long ago and. Um, I think it's a really big venue, and like they had like ten thousand people at this bar, wow, outside wow. their bar. Damn. And and it, it's and uh, the guy, the the lead, uh, I think it's the lead singer from Jackal owns part of the bar. Wow. Oh yeah, I saw something about that. Right, you guys should really try to get there. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah, because that that bar is huge, man, and you should actually go there because when they have Sturgis and all the all the people come in on their motorcycles. It's a great little. It's a great venue. I mean, I'd love to go. I'd never been there, but I'd love to go. I support yeah. Harley Davidson's. There you go. Mm. There you go. My dad would love you <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't already. 
Now, you guys got a gig coming up soon, or you guys are still practicing, getting ready to go, and trying to, you know, make everything perfect. work first? Yeah. Practicing, recording, <laughs> trying recording, to make everything perfect. Recording. First show, merch, yeah. everything. Where is your, okay, have you guys figured out, like, where your first show is going to be at, though, or have you got that far yet? It's yeah. probably going to be at Peabody's. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Figures. Most okay. likely. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> there we go. All right. What, okay. What about, what about, uh, what do you guys think about the local music scene here in Cleveland? I think it needs to be revived. I, I, it's all death I, I, metal and underground rap. It needs to be revived. I, Cleveland has the Rock and Hall of Fame. What, I mean, exactly. Where's the Rock and Roll? Exactly. Where's the Rock and Roll? Right. It's all rap. <laughs> well, it, that, that comes to an argument that I had a long time ago with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, for God's sakes, they had Lady Gaga's meat suit sitting there. Yeah, and they have Run DMC. <laughs> they got Run DMC in there. I mean, <laughs> that's not rock. Right, exactly. It, it, it's called the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's not called the Mix Match Music Hall of Fame. Right, <laughs> right. You know, if the, there, and there's already, what is it? I think it's in Harlem somewhere that they have like a, I'm, I'm, I don't know, but it's 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 in it's a rap Hall of Fame or something already. And I'm, I'm assuming it's in Harlem or something. <laughs> But, you know, the, the thing is... No, South Beach. Right. right. South, it's in South Beach, yeah. yeah. It's probably in South Beach where LeBron is. But, you know, the thing is, you know, you, we got we got this, like, the biggest venue here in Cleveland with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and there's no... And some of these inductees that they put in this place are not even in there, like Kiss. I mean, yeah. for God's sakes, Kiss is not in there. I'm not a huge, huge fan of Kiss, though, but... I still think they need to go they in there. They deserve it. Yeah. Oh, they yes. deserve it, yeah. Yes. You know? 100%. I think Gene Simmons is a tool, but, you know, that's beside the point, you know. Him and his reality TV show and, he yeah. had to, you know, whatever. But, you know, I think his son deserves to go in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame before he does. You know, I like Nick. <laughs> Nick is cool. But, um, yeah, I agree with you 100%. With the, with the Cleveland music scene here, it's it's like – it's like FM radio. It's dying. Mm -hmm. Okay? And and a lot of people don't realize that, that when you go and see a show, you're there to support the band. Yeah. And right. a, lot of the, a, a lot of these people just go there, and this is what I hate the most. They go there, they watch, uh, you know, uh, their first band, and then they leave. Okay? Whatever band they're there for, they watch it and they leave. That's not a show. You go to a show, you sit there for the first band, you leave for the last band. Damn right. And that's yeah. how it should be. When yeah. I go to when I go to shows, that's how it is. I'll stay there for the beginning and I will leave at the end. Right. And I, I you know, you never know. You might run across a piece of music or a band that you really, really like, and then you'll stay there for their show next time. Yeah. yeah. Been exposure. there, done that. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Now, how many bands have you guys went and seen that you thought, okay, well, this band was okay, but maybe the next band's going to be good? How many bands have you re uh, like maybe discovered? In your guys' lifetime that you guys liked? There was a, before our, at, with our old singer, before our first show, me and Joe over there, the bassist, went into uh, Peabody's for a show. Right. And uh, just because, get back in the game, see a show, and we found Arc Peninsula, great band. We great band, yeah. go see them everywhere they play. Mm-hmm, yeah. How about you? Um, Any I band? Mean, None that I've just ventured into a place and seen, but I've played shows okay. with yeah. past bands, and I've met, you know, a whole Great slew people. of a lot of local Great fans, people. a lot of awesome people, mm -hmm. and you know, I wouldn't have known had I not been there the whole time okay. just to watch them. If I just played my set and left, right, I wouldn't have seen anybody else. How about you? Um, I actually did see a band a long time ago. It was called Goddamned. They're good. They are very good. They're really I good. I've never heard of them before, and I went there for the first time, and they were absolutely amazing. The guys from Project X actually had them on their show. They actually had them in the studio. I believe it was on studio or on the phone, one of the two. But it was. But the thing is, is that they were really, really good, and um, they were fun to even watch on the show. Mm -hmm. You know, how about They're you? A nice group of guys uh, too. We went to a show, Art Peninsula, and yeah. uh, Psychosis opened up for them, and they were really good. Okay. I'd definitely go back and see them again. <laughs> um, Euphoria. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's a good band, too. Great yeah. guys. How about you? I would definitely like Arc, Euphoria. Um, who else has been out there that we've really... I mean, Psychosis was really yeah, good. They were put on a great show. Yeah. They really did. Impending Lies. Impending, Impending Lies. Lies. Jay yeah. from yeah. Impending Lies is awesome, man. Yeah. I like that yeah. guy. He's matter of fact, he's got a show, I believe, this weekend. That he's going out to Canton, I believe, and he's going to be doing something there. So, I mean, a lot of bands that, you know, are here in Cleveland, we have a great community of bands here, but there's a, the problem is is that people don't go out and actually support these local bands. They, they yeah. go and, like, 
for instance, this is what I see the most, and this is what pisses me off a, a lot, is that when people go, they go to the show, and, you know, you tell you all your friends, and your friends tell your friends, and blah, 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 and then you got your friends at the show, all right? And then your friends are sitting around waiting for you to play, and then you're, like, last on the bill, okay? So they're watching all these bands, and or they're outside smoking a cigarette or something like that, and they're not actually listening to the other bands that come in there and, and uh, perform. And that, that kind of irks me a little bit, though, because you spent the money to go to the show. So why don't you just stick around and have a good time and watch it? See you know? the whole show. Yeah, See, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, and that's what, I, that's what I've been noticing a lot is that, you know, a lot of people don't really support the Cleveland music scene like they should. Yeah, it's true. We're all stuck in Ohio. Right, exactly. And, <laughs> 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 and, and, and that's, the, that's the problem that, um, you know, we, we sort of have here in Cleveland is that when, when we go out, and try to, you know, debut our, mu- or our music or we try to debut, you know, something new from our band, we're always stuck here in Cleveland trying to do it. Right. A lot of what's your guys' plans? I hope you guys aren't just going to play just Cleveland. No, oh, no, 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 no. I know a lot of bands that do that. They they sit there and like, okay, we're going to play Peabody's, we're going to play uh, no. Fantasy, no. we're going to play, you we, know, we've got big plans. Then they're done. Then yeah, yeah exactly. we want bigger and better yeah. things. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, you know. And that's the thing, though. A lot of bands, they do that. They just play out Cleveland, and then they keep playing out Cleveland. It's like, how many times can I go see this band in Cleveland? Exactly. You know, and it just gets tiresome after a while. And that's why a lot of the, some of the bands I, that I interviewed in the past, or, you know, I actually told them, I said, look, you guys got to move. You guys got to go out to Columbus, go over to West Virginia, go to Kentucky, go to... And the West Coast. Yeah, the West Coast. Uh, the, yeah, yeah go to the weekend, play a show. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Go up to uh, Chicago, play up there for a little while or yeah. something. New York. You know, Buffalo, New York's got a lot of cool bars up there that you yeah. guys can play mm-hmm. at. Yes. You know, so... You, uh, I, I can't remember the one that's really. There's one bar up in Buffalo, New York that's really, really cool. It's like a rocker punk type bar, and it you guys fit perfectly there. Really? Yeah, I, I'll get you guys a name. Let I'll, us know. Yeah, yeah I'll let you know what it is. That would be great. Yeah, you guys could just go there, contact the owner. I don't know the owner. Per, yeah. yeah, I don't know the owner personally, but you could just tell him that um, you know you like to play there. I'm sure he'll he'll let you guys come up or whatever. Yeah, we would love it. Um, in in the spring, in the springtime, are you guys planning to do anything or no? Oh yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's more yeah. or less our um, track is your goal. March to go really be out there. Okay. So everything so you, should be merchandise. Okay. T-shirts, stickers, okay. buttons, all that shit. So you're going to hit Cleveland hard in yeah. the spring and then yeah. just go out. And just go out. Yeah. Just go out and hit the road. The summer should be <laughs> right. all over the place. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be fun. That should, be. Yeah, it should be. Um, I got uh, so many different questions for you, but, you just know, you know yeah. I mean, <laughs> what I want to do is I want to take a break real quick, though, and then we'll get you guys to do the acoustic set. But before we do that, I do have one, one uh, question for you guys. When you guys got together, was it? Was it like was the chemistry there? I mean, were, did you guys actually sit down and say, you know what, I'm going to pick this guy, I'm going to pick this guy, or is it like we're already friends, we already played in bands before, we already know what we're you know what we're capable of, you know, let's just go ahead and do that, or was was this band handpicked? It was. I mean, we the four of us have, have we've been at it since about March of last year. Yeah. Okay. So okay. we were ready. We just needed that last. Okay. We kind of just piece. fell into place with each other. And yeah. yeah. Understandable. Yeah, we, we tried to fit out. in right away. Yeah. 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 Okay. You know. And these Craigslist guys are murderer. my second family. So. Nice. Nice. And you also do a little gig, too, off to the side, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do the infusion thing, right? Correct? That is correct. And, um, so awesome. <laughs> right. Now, if you haven't seen an infusion event, I've seen them so many times because... You know, Ryan, or Otter from Project X actually does a show here, and he tells me all about the shows and so on and so forth. And I've seen quite a few live shows that they've done. These things are amazing. I mean, if you don't like chicks, then you don't you don't need to go see the show, all right? But if you if you, if you want to go see chicks with grinders, yeah, then you need to go see the, see the show. Badass, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> I'm going to probably hear about that probably on Tuesday when Ryan comes in and does the show. And, you know, and his, he's gonna probably going to say, well, you know, my wife was listening to the show and she heard that and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Jen, no offense, hon. All right? Hi, Jen. Yeah. Um, I love you, Jen. All right. That was Joe Dirt that played it. All right. It wasn't me. All right. <laughs> So, um, real quick. (laughs) So he does it again. All right, real quick, guys. We'll take a quick break. We'll we'll come back, and we're going to get these guys to do an acoustic set. Cool. All right. So you guys actually have the whole entire desk to yourself because I'm going to be back here running the board. 
Awesome. All, All right. Fun. So when we come back, these guys are going to play live for us. So you guys can check them out on Facebook. How? Facebook.com slash Rise to two. Redemption. Number, number two. two. Number two. Why, did, why was the two? The why? number two. The T.O. was already taken. Oh, it sucks, dude. I thought you hate that. <laughs> yeah, whoever that is. Those fuckers. Yeah, screw you. So, <laughs> right. The number two. You guys got a website? Yes. Uh, no, just the Facebook, really. You Facebook need a website. No, I know. You need a website. It's on the priority list. Awesome. Mm-hmm. All right, real quick, guys. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. Good show. Thank you. This is your idea of a morning pick-me-up. <laughs> You're our kind of listener. Uncensored net noise. You want a date? I'm going to puke on you. Gee, I don't think I have a price for that. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Right here on MorningShowCentral.com. Oh, great. Not another farm bill request. Check us out on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Morning Show Central. Denying one farm bill request at a time. Uncensored Net Noise is fueled by Cocaine Energy Supplement. Hey, if you had to work on a Friday night, you'd need it too. If you live the lifestyle, then you should arrive in style. Lifestyle limousine service. Whether it's dinner for two, an evening at the winery, or a night out on the town, Lifestyle Limousine provides extraordinary service. Check them out on the web, LifestyleLimousineService.com. Reserve your ride now. 330-903-0508. 330-903-0508. Lifestyle Limousine Service. And make sure you tell them. Morning Show Central Radio Network sent you the Project X Show. Project X Show. Driven by porn. <laughs> Every Tuesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. Right here on Morning Show Central Radio Network. Project X Show. Live on MorningShowCentral.com. Let the word go for Created by the people. For the people. Jousting out. Tackles the politics of today. Expressing views of all sides. As our founders pledged, a more perfect union. Are you ready to joust it out? Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. So we Americans must not fear change. Instead, let us welcome it, embrace it, and create it. On MorningShowCentral.com. P99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Jumping from one web host to another can be frustrating. Finding a good web host can be unnerving for even the most experienced of web designers. That's why Uncensored Net Noise has chosen P99 Technologies as its web hosting supplier. Established in 1999, P99 Technologies has evolved into a first-class web hosting provider. Its 99.9% uptime rivals many in the industry. That's why they offer their 30-day guarantee. Guarantee, no questions asked. For more information, go to P99.com. P99 Technologies will help you get started with your web presence with honest and expert customer service. P99 Technologies, affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Hey, this is Steve Snyder from Twisted Sister, and you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should, too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. The Adrenaline Rush. All you need to do is feel it. The thrill of victory. Winning is the only option. The only option. The only option. And all the locker room chatter. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong. Game over. Get high on sports. Every Monday night at 9 p.m. Want to know everything going on with the Browns, the Cavs, the Indians, even the Monsters? These guys know it. (laughs) You have the most amazing effect on people. You know why? Um. They're high on sports. Monday night at 9 p.m. Then I am in on MorningShowCentral.com. Hey, this is Richard Christie, and you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. What is it? It was hot. It's everything in between with your host, Von Eric. Everything in between. It gets me more excited. Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on MorningShowCentral.com. 
call the show toll free. 1-888-668-0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh my. MorningShowCentral.com. Copy that. I want you to stay on this channel. This channel. This channel. You're going to like it. MorningShowCentral.com. The universe grows smaller every day. Check out the member profile pages, blogs, games, online forums, video chat, and much more. Much more. You are out of order. Shut your fat mouth. One website. I got to be honest. This is getting hot. MorningShowCentral.com. You are refreshingly vulgar. Hey, this is Tim King from Soil, and you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. Due to affirmative action, we have a black guy on the show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. From the Cocaine Energy Supplement Studio, you're listening. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. It's Uncensored Net Noise. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. Live on MorningShowCentral.com. If you'd like to call the show, 
Uncensored net noise. Secret message. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. All right, guys. I would say. You want to call the show? The number is 888-668-0742, but I don't want you to call right now. I noticed we were getting some calls during the break, and uh, but I got the guys and gal in there. We're getting ready to play, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hand it, I'm gonna hand it over to uh, Mr. Joe Dirt in there. You ready in there, Joe Dirt? Yes, I am. Okay, so there's Joe Dirt in the band. Yes, lovely band here. Right. So you guys ready in there? Are you guys ready? I ready think so. Ready. so. All right. Whenever you guys are ready, go ahead. Take it away. Take it away, guys. One, two, three, four.
good stuff, guys. I like Thank that. You. Do another one. That was good. I like it. Do another one. Do another one. Do another one. Okay. Encore. Encore. Do another one. Good stuff, man. What you played earlier, Dead Nightmare Acoustic. Acoustic version. Sure. Whenever you're ready, guys. Go ahead. Okay. Man, that's good. Thank you. I like that. I like that. Now, let me ask you this real quick, guys. How long did it take you guys to come up with the concept of these two songs? I mean, I know it's probably it probably took you guys like forever to you know like maybe come up with the the song or whatever. So, tell me a little bit about each one of them. Oh man, it's a process. <laughs> it's, really? Well, it's not too bad. Um, some of it. Uh, 
we kind of had written before we brought Celeste into the band. Yeah. Okay. She just kind of took over on the lyrics, and she's kind of been working solo a little bit. And okay. But it's uh, we actually use a program called Guitar Pro. Really? This guy here, Coob, the lead guitarist, writes a lot of stuff on the computer and then kind of teaches himself how to it's, play it. Yeah, afterwards. it's pretty much put in a random bunch of numbers and go, hey, can I play this? <laughs> yeah. And then if I can, then hey, it's a song. And Puts a little bit of structure to it. and If I can't, then well, I can read it. That's, that's cool, though. I mean, I, a lot of bands, I mean, some bands they play to a click track, some bands they play yeah. to, you know, a computer-generated type thing or whatever, and it's really cool how the technology of today is actually helping music more, you know. So, um like, like the last song that you just did. Now, I like the concept of it. I like the, the melody of it. You know, I mean, especially acoustic. And then, I, you know, I, I, I love to see it live with the full band. I mean, that's that's gonna be really cool. Very though. soon, very yeah, soon. Yeah, I like to see that's that. our next song actually. Right, I, I get to show off a lot. With that, <laughs> so I like it. So is there, is there gonna be a lot of like catchy guitar riffs in it, or is there gonna be a lot of like uh, double bass drums in it? Oh yeah, yeah really? Yeah, a little bit of both. Yeah. Little yeah. Little so, uh, like. Uh, uh, what genre of music are you guys actually putting yourself in? I mean, there's a lot of bands out there, well, we're just a band that plays Cleveland, and, you know, we, we just like to go out and play, and yeah. we don't care about what genre we're in. But there, I, I, I sort of hear a genre, you know, and I want you guys to, you know, to prove me wrong. So I'm not going to say what it is, but what do you guys think you guys, your genre should be? Uh, I, pr- I mean, alternative, alternative yeah. metal. metal. That's what I was thinking, too. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, because... You guys kind of remind me of the band Cellbound. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. Those you see what I'm great. saying? Yeah. Yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? You kind of remind. And there's another band too. God, they played by our birthday bash uh, a long time ago. Um, God, what was uh, Six Gun Sister? You ever heard of those guys? I think I have. Okay, yeah, Six Six Gun Sister. They, yeah. they had to change their name and all this other crazy nonsense. But you you actually sound like the lead singer Celeste of of that band. Cool. You know, I, I, and I'm really digging it, you know, because uh, I've actually asked them to play the birthday badge, which was really cool. So, looking back, let's say 10 years from now, okay, the band is like, you know, it, it's in its 10 years, and where do you guys see yourself in 10 years with this band? Hopefully on top. Really? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Playing music Successful. with people singing along. Yeah. I, lo- I like bottom better, Joey. Just saying. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh my God. Oh, nice. got to add you... that. <laughs> just yeah, basically, uh, what? Keep selling. People yeah, know getting our name out, out there. there. Right. We want our music heard. Right. People singing along with us. And, and if there's anything out there, like to any of these, anybody that's listening to the show right now, I mean, we got a lot of people listening right now. But if there's anything that, you know, you want to maybe like give a message to some of the, some of the people that are listening about your band, you know, because when a lot of bands they go out and they play and they and they really don't know like, you know, what they're getting themselves into when they go to see a show, you know, if there's any like anything positive that you can actually say to the people that are listening about your band, what would it be? About the band. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll be putting on a show other than just music. Yeah. There's right. There's a lot behind it. Um, we stage, want everybody to feel presence, our music. Stage like yeah. presence, you know, right? Yeah, you know, lights, everything. I mean, and that, that, that's what makes a band too. Because if you don't have the stage presence, mm-hmm. you don't have you don't have any of that. Then We're you know, boring. yeah, exactly. And it's like you know, okay, I go, I went and seen this band, awesome, great, you know, but their stage presence kind of sucks. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. no, We're, come yeah. come see us. We're we're actually working on changing the game. That's yep. what I would yeah. say. We already got things in the works. We're, yeah. So. Right. Something you, you haven't seen before at Peabody's. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bunch of uh, phone calls trying to come in, but they keep hanging up before I can even click them on. So oh. stop it, Ricky. Stop calling, me. Ricky. Stop you're not it. Gonna, you're stop not gonna, it. Yeah. So. You got. There we go. Here's another one. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can accept this one now. Are we going? Yeah. Wait. Hey. He actually stayed on the line. Who is this? And what do you want? Hello. You're on the air. And he just hung up. <laughs> uh-huh. Again. Uh-huh. Ricky. Come, Come on, on, call. Yeah. All right. All right so, yeah. what the hell, dude? What is he, <laughs> auto-dial? You got an auto-dialer or something, dude? He's spoofing you. That's what he's doing. It might be one of my bill collectors trying to reach me. <laughs> exactly. Hey, <laughs> he's going to be on this show tonight. We know where his car is. Let's go repo it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. He didn't drive. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All right. So. Hello, is this Rise to Redemption? <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, so 
we we know where the band's going to be in ten years. Okay, and you guys want to be on top, and or bottom, or, or bottom. bottom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, top and, of the charts on bottom. Right, on bottom. exactly. <laughs> and is, is there is there going to be a music video to any of your songs coming up? Oh, oh yeah, yes. uh, yeah. We we've got a couple things. Going Ideas. Yeah. We've, been, we've been approached uh, by a couple people. Really? Um, hopefully, we'll be going with this dead nightmare. I think it's okay. a great concept. Okay. Um, hopefully, we'll just stick with that and then go from there. Yeah. Right. See what happens. You know, we'll be in yeah. the studio Monday and I think Wednesday, right? Monday yeah. and Wednesday. Yeah. Skyline awesome. Studios, yeah. yeah. Shout out. Actually. I heard of those guys too. Oh, great. Yeah. They're yeah. pretty. They're, they're pretty awesome. They're I heard. I heard a lot of good things about those guys oh, too. Yeah. Friends yeah. of ours. Yeah. 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 So I used to be in a band with one of the uh, one of the guys. I really, producer. really. Yeah. yeah. And now, if there was anybody that you guys want to collab with, who would it be and why? Hmm. Good well, let's see. Ooh. My favorite band would be Avenged Sevenfold. Okay. Always has okay. been. I would Agreed. love to meet those guys. Okay. Agreed. Um, big influence to me. Do you sure took my answer. Oh, damn you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it'd be Avenged Sevenfold then because that's three of us. Okay. So, <laughs> what's it? Okay. I, I was going to ask the next question. What's in your iPod? Oh, Avenged Sevenfold. Oh, my God. Everything from yeah, Little Wayne to really? Lamb of God to yeah. Lady God. Gaga. Lady Gaga. She's in there. Are yeah. you serious? <laughs> Who said not Lady even, Gaga? I'm not even going to lie. Oh. Hey. That was for you, Chris. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Lady Gaga? I like a little bit of poker raw, face. Raw, oh raw, 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 raw. So much for our likes. Good, good going. <laughs> yeah. We just lost like five yeah. likes on oh, Facebook. Geez. 500, maybe. <laughs> well, you know, you got to be well rounded with music. A little bit of Eminem, maybe. Oh, yeah. Little, oh, yeah. Bit of that, some you know? biggies and Tupac. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I don't personally have big or Tupac. Love it when but you, call you know. Big Papa. No. You know. I just I lost. Like when he calls me Big Papa. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. I just lost all. Listeners to the show? No. Oh. No, I just lost oh. all respect oh. of the band right now. Oh. Oh. Boo. Okay, wait, wait. I can redeem it. Arch Enemy, Lamb of God. There you go. There you go. Okay. There you go. There you go. I got, I got you guys' back. Don't worry. Cool. That's why Chris is back there and I'm here. <laughs> Joe Dirt. No, I'm Sorry. actually right here. No. <laughs> see, no one, How you doing? See, no one cares. Put Hi. the camera back on the real see, people. Chris. See, they Come see me now. right now. You know? <laughs> Remember, I have the controls now. <laughs> Yeah. My, my mic's not. Funny. Yeah, it's off right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, remember that, Joker. Yes. <laughs> All right, I, I knew that. Right. All right, real quick, guys. We're gonna take our last break of the night. We're gonna have the guys stick around and uh, do some news with us, and Joe Dirk can just stay in there, and I'll run the board and everything back here. Um, when we come back, we got a, what, what do we got up on uh, tap, Joe? I know we got a bunch of stories coming up, and well, we we do have Joe Dirk's corner. I yeah. got a pretty good story. Do you really? So you want? Did wanna... you get laid? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to find out. No. Tune in later. Top after, or after the break. <laughs> top or yeah. bottom. Are you I'm top or sure. bottom? No. Uh, <laughs> was it top or bottom, Joe? Or in the middle. Find out when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be the gayest story ever coming up next. All right, you listen to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. If this is your idea of a morning pick me up, <laughs> you're our kind of listener. Uncensored Net Noise. You want a date? I'm going to puke on you. Gee, I don't think I have a price for that. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Right here on MorningShowCentral.com. Oh, great. Not another farm bill request. Check us out on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Morning Show Central. Denying one farm bill request at a time. Uncensored Net Noise is fueled by Cocaine Energy Supplement. Hey, if you had to work on a Friday night... You'd need it, too. If you live the lifestyle, then you should arrive in style. Lifestyle limousine service. Whether it's dinner for two, an evening at the winery, or a night out on the town, Lifestyle Limousine provides extraordinary service. Check them out on the web, LifestyleLimousineService.com. Reserve your ride now. 330-903-0508. 330-903-0508. Lifestyle Limousine Service. And make sure you tell them. Morning Show Central Radio. Radio Network sent you the Project X Show. The Project, Project X Show. Driven by porn. <laughs> Every Tuesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. Right here on Morning Show Central Radio Network. Project X Show. Live on MorningShowCentral.com. Make the word go Created by the people 
for the people. Justin Out tackles the politics of today, expressing views of all sides. As our founders pledged, a more perfect union. Are you ready to joust it out? Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. So we Americans must not fear change. Instead, let us welcome it, embrace it, and create it. On MorningShowCentral.com. Peak 99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Jumping from one web host to another can be frustrating. Finding a good web host can be unnerving for even the most experienced of web designers. That's why Uncensored Net Noise has chosen Peak 99 Technologies as its web hosting supplier. Established in 1999, Peak 99 Technologies has evolved into a first class web hosting provider. Its 99.9% uptime rivals many in the industry. That's why they offer their 30 day guarantee. No questions asked. For more information, go to P99.com. P99 Technologies will help you get started with your web presence. With honest and expert customer service. P99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Hey, this is Steve Snyder from Twisted Sister. Are you listening to Uncensored Net Noise? If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should, too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. The Adrenaline Rush. All you need to do is feel it. The thrill of victory. Winning is the only option. The only option. The only option. And all the locker room chatter. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong. Game over. Get high on sports. Every Monday night at 9 p.m. Want to know everything going on with the Browns, the Cavs, the Indians, even the Monsters? These guys know it. You have the most amazing effect on people. You know why? Um, They're high on sports. Monday night at 9 p.m. Then I am in on MorningShowCentral.com. Hey, this is Richard Christie, and you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. What is it? It was hot. It's everything in between with your host, Von Eric. Everything in between. That gets me more excited. Monday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on MorningShowCentral.com. Call the show toll free. 1 888 0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh my. MorningShowCentral.com. Copy that. I want you to stay on this channel. Stay on this channel. You're going to like it. MorningShowCentral.com. The universe grows smaller every day. Check out the member profile pages, blogs, games, online forums, video chat, and much more. Much more. You are out of order. Shut your fat mouth. One website. I gotta be honest. This is getting me hot. MorningShowCentral.com. You are refreshingly vulgar. Hey, this is Tim King from Soil, and you listen to Uncensored Net Noise. Due to affirmative action, we have a black guy on the show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. From the Cocaine Energy Supplement Studio, you're listening. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. It's Uncensored Net Noise. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. Live on MorningShowCentral.com. If you'd like to call the show, 1-888-668-0742. <laughs> We're all going to be dead at the end of this year. Yeah, that's what everybody keeps saying. You know what? 2012. I want to talk about it, that really quick, it's too. It's the year. Yeah, everybody keeps saying that 2012 is <laughs> coming up and we're all going to die and, you know, expect the worst. And I was watching this show about the Mayan calendar or something like that, and they said that they it stops on, the, on December 21st, 2012. And I'm like, well, so what? It stopped. Maybe they got lazy and didn't want to finish the calendar or something, you know? I don't know, but... Why is why would the world stop? No, this bitch is going to keep spinning, and and the only way we're going to be gone is when the good Lord above says, you know what, I'm going to shake you guys off like fleas, and you guys are going to be gone. <laughs> Don't be that douchebag, Ralphie from Sports. He listens to Lady Gaga. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. Oh. 
some Ricky dude was calling my show. I think it's time to throw him on the bus. <laughs> So, if you want to call the show, the number is 888-668-0742. If your name is Ricky, you can call. <laughs> Maybe. If you know how to use a phone. <laughs> because I tried, I, try, I tried using my phone, which it works perfectly fine. Dialed up the show, heard the commercial breaks, and I knew it worked. So, Ricky, if you want to call the show... The number is 888-668-0742. I know your brother's in studio. No. And, um... <laughs> Suck. Suck. I heard that you had a baby coming, too. All right. Congratulations on the kid. But you suck at phones, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. And look, he's calling right now. Yeah. That's Don't not, hang up. Don't hang up, That's Rick. not all Ricky sucks at. Come on, Dick. Yeah. You suck at <laughs> so I finally got Ricky on the phone right now. So what's going on, Ricky? Okay, turn down the computer. Yeah, you want to turn down. What's going on with you? You want to turn down the, you know, the computer behind you. Turn down the computer. A ten-second delay. Yeah, no. It takes like ten people to do one small thing. Right. <laughs> Are you are you okay. are you a deity or something, dude? Oh, I am. Are what, you? A, what a dick! I, I, I just I just want to know. I mean, I mean, come on! You, you called nine times to the studio, <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool. This guy really likes the band. I don't know who this guy is, but he really wants to talk to the band. My mom called nine times. <laughs> oh, don't blo- no, 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 no. blame it on the mom, dude. Okay, You're the one with the phone. It. Who's okay? Whose phone number no, is it? To my mom. She'll tell you. No, my wait, mom. Wait. Whose phone? Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm the mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm wait, hold on. Whose phone number is it? It's Ricky's. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> yeah. Dead is, air. Dead is air. Your, is your, is your uh, phone number begin with 224? Is that your phone number? Hello? See. <laughs> you scared him away, he, Dick. God. He left. He does not know how to oh, use a phone. God, he must have Ricky. put it on mute or, mute or something. I don't know what he did. God, and he reproduced. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Too, he's gonna get you for that. That's <laughs> the best twelve seconds of his life. That's too too soon. <laughs> he All beat right. me by two seconds. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. All right, you ready over there, Joe Dirt? All right, All right. I am ready. You want to do your Joe Dirt corner? Let's go ahead and do this. All right, here we go. Do I have everybody's attention now? My Joe Dirt. I'm the best. I have the ball to say things that nobody else has the balls to say. You fans can stick it, brother. I'm going to take my town to South Beach. I'm the best in the world. <laughs> yes, who I am. Yes, I am. Joe Dirt. Ooh, yeah. All right, Joe Dirt, what do you got? Wait for the spot. <laughs> All right. You might enjoy this one. You didn't get laid. Today. <laughs> Let me finish. God, right. this is my time, all right? That's all right, what she time. said. Too. Let him start. Yes. All right. I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> all right, well, today's a very special day for me. I was mentioning online, you know, it's my personal transformation day. You know, turning from a caterpillar to a butterfly. It was on this day. That you got laid. Three years ago that I, Joe Dirt, lost my virginity. Oh, yeah. oh, congratulations. So remember this day on your calendar, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very important day. You'll never get laid again. <laughs> she told everybody. Yes. Right. Or he, whichever one. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a small penis. So what was it, top or bottom or middle? Yeah, was it a dude or a female? Or both? Okay, to answer all of those questions. <laughs> on Twitter, right? Yes. I, of course I tweeted about it. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know me. I tweet anything. I know you do. It was bottom. Two minutes. <laughs> One <laughs> plump chump. <laughs> but, yes. And it was a girl, by the way. Nice. Nice. Okay. I, mean, that's good I don't remember her name, but that's it was a girl. Better. Were you hogging that night? <laughs> no. No, <laughs> because I don't know what hogging means. Hogging means no, going. Wait, okay, hogging. Now I'm gonna explain to him. Hogging means 
when you go out with a fat chick when you're drunk. And well, you take her home, you have sex with her, and then you just leave. Well, no, because I don't drink. And no, she was not fat. Okay. Was she halfway decent at least? She was decent. Okay. Yes. She. It, it wasn't like the time when you went to this chick's house to play, play PlayStation and she didn't give you anything, right? <laughs> no, that's not true. Remember, she did give me something. She gave me a handshake. That was it. Right. That was it. God, you guys should hear the story about this one, uh, man. Oh, my God. He went. Uh, do it. Do you want to? Okay. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll say it. I'll explain. Say it. Explain. Sorry. All right. <laughs> this story, this happened during the summer. I was helping this girl move from, she originally lived in Medina, helping her move to Bedford. So that's a pretty nice drive as yeah. it is. Oh, yeah. And I live in Ravenna. So from Ravenna to Medina, that's like an hour drive. That's a blowjob's worth of gas. And then. <laughs> we, we, got that right. And, and then we went from Medina to Bedford, back to Medina, back to Bedford. At the end of the night when I was, it was time to leave, I was like, oh, can I get a hug or something? No, she gave me a handshake. That's all she gave me. Wow. So wow. I went home and took the coldest shower you could possibly yeah. take. Yeah. Shower of shame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hang your head. You suck, yes. dude. I'm yes. sorry. And that was this week's Joe Dirt's Corner. Nice. Thank you. I'm you Joe Dirt. You just suck ass dude i swear to god that is one of the many chapters of my life that is <laughs> that's what you are dude the biggest freaking dummy I you know what he had a pack of condoms from like 1999 2008 well whatever i, I threw them away last month because they right. expired in 2011 and he only used one out of the pack yes and he probably used it as a blow-up doll or something, or a, a balloon for his cousin or something like that. Dude, you need to get laid. Hey, you know, anybody out there that's listening to the show right now, you see Joe Dirt on camera. Right <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you like to date him, please send me an email, chris at morningshowcentral.com. I want to hook him up with a date, man. Hey, Not I got, you, I got Ricky. The, I got this female right next to me. I'm about to use one of my lines on her. Yeah, you know what? Try it. Let's hear it. Yeah. No, I don't want to get killed. Never mind. <laughs> no, go ahead. No, seriously, she won't kill you. She's got a brace on her knee, so she's good. She can't catch you. She's got a trick knee. Yeah, right. Yeah. Go ahead. Just one question. How do you like your eggs? Over easy or fertilized? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was good. That was really good. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> From the hot chick in the other room. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So you get rejected on every freaking aspect, dude. Yeah. Every aspect, dude. I've been rejected my whole life. I'm used to it. Dude, even the interns reject you. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. What? Oh. I bet you. I could. I bet you the new intern in there uh, that's sitting in there right now. She probably wouldn't even go on a date with you. Not even if I pay. Not even if you pay, dude. I got coupons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> For Burger King. <laughs> no, he actually yeah. took his. Uh, one of his ex-girlfriends to CC's Pizzas with coupons. Oh, coupons, yes. Yes. Damn. I still have that receipt. Right. <laughs> CC's is the shit. So oh, yeah. It is. It is. It is. Gives you the shit. Not if you want to get laid. <laughs> no. Not if you want to get laid. If you want... If you, if you, you know what? <laughs> this is what we You know what's do. identical to it is that cinnamon or that custard pizza, that dessert pizza, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. That yeah. stuff that's, is delicious. Yeah, that's yeah, just that's like getting laid. Yeah, exactly. This is what we should do. Okay, we should, when you guys go out in the spring, okay, to play. Take me with you. Take Joe Dirt with you. <laughs> yes, we're okay? getting him laid. And get him laid that We're night. getting him laid. All right. That would be awesome. And then he can come back and, and report that he has AIDS. Yes. From Ricky. <laughs> From Ricky. Because <laughs> Ricky prefers fertilized eggs. Oh, Jesus. They told me to cover him, you know, with a blindfold. I'm like, oh, I'll trust them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe Dirt, what we got in the news over there? You got anything good? All right. A fugitive wanted on a murder charge in Atlanta and arrested here earlier this week is accused of hiding a handgun in his rectum while in the Onslow County Jail. Oh. Mm. Michael Leon Ward, 22 years old, of Canton, Georgia, was charged late Thursday night by the Onslow County Sheriff's Office with fugitive warrants from the state of Georgia for murder and armed robbery. So he stuck the gun up Ugh. his ass and hid it from cops, right? Yes. And then he was he was hoping that you know he can get the gun out and keep it in jail and you know everything would be cool, right? Wrong. So <laughs> so wrong. Yes. Right. So, he, dude, really, how did he get the gun up his ass? That's the first question. 
I mean, what kind of gun was it? I mean, are we talking about a twenty-two, a nine millimeter, a bazooka? I mean, <laughs> a howitzer? I mean, what did he have up his ass? What kind of gun does it say? Twelve gauge. <laughs> yeah, it's really. A, a thirty-eight caliber pistol. Ah, that's like a little Saturday Night Special explosive type thing. Yeah. Still, yeah, Still. yeah, 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 explosive. Yeah, yeah. Explosive. right. <laughs> Dude, he had to have been in the hospital for days, man, after shitting that thing out. God. <laughs> That's insane, dude. It brings back pain- painful memories, I'm guessing. It brings back the Chicago deli. It yeah. brings back <laughs> so many, Usually you can only get the gun in after coming out of prison. No, no. <laughs> well, the, the other thing is, did, did he actually, uh, like, put a condom around it and then stuck it up his ass? It or? doesn't matter. I mean, <laughs> I, did, well, did he use lube? I was I mean, just going to say lube or no lube. Well, right, no yeah. Lube. How did the gun, I mean, how did he physically get the gun up his ass? That's the question I got. I mean... Anybody in the chat room want to explain to me how that gun got up his asshole, then let me know. If you ever had a gun up your ass, please right. call the show. Right. 888-668-0742. Hold on, I got a call. I got a problem. <laughs> Ricky, call real quick. Tell me how you get things up your ass. Well, you, you, guys seen the, you, guys seen the movie, you guys seen the movie Jackass, right? Of course. Oh, yeah. Okay, where he took the little, the little toy car and stuck it up his ass. Yeah. Okay, that was a small little toy car. Now, we're talking about a thirty eight here. Yeah. Okay, and that's a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. Right. A tiny bit. Yeah. And he's a dude, man. You know, things exit, not go up. You know? Right. Uh, I don't know. What else you got, Joe Dirt? <laughs> All right. Hard to transition from that one, but we'll try. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. A man facing drug trafficking charges made a strong first impression at his court appearance in Broward County when he showed up wearing a crack shirt. Now, this, is, this guy is retarded, man. I wish I had the picture for this, man. This guy is super, super retarded. He... Uh, let me let me set this up for you, Joe Dirt. He he walks in. He walks into the courtroom, and you know how you got a shirt and it may say you know affliction on it or something like that, and people get upset that people wear that, right? All right. Or Thank you, you. Or you're from Jersey Shore or something, and you, you know, and you walk in with a muscle bound shirt or something like that, right? And you're fist pumping to the judge, and he, you know, gives you the whatever. But anyways, this guy walks in. This gentleman right next to me has an affliction T-shirt on. Are you serious? Can we get some duct tape? Yes. Oh. Mike, Mike right here. Show Dude, oh. really? I didn't even notice show. that. You showed him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Are you really wearing an affliction T-shirt? Yes, he is. No. And he was fist pumping before you put I the camera back on. I absolutely was not during a break. <laughs> hard. Oh he actually God. showed us how you fit a gun up your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Do you watch Jersey Shore? Absolutely not. We don't even own cable. Just yeah. I was going to say, I'm going to your house to check your DVR, <laughs> but you don't own cable, so I can't. Well, anyways, this guy has this, like, T-shirt, or, like, the sweatshirt, you know? And on the sweatshirt, it has the whole entire recipe, how to make crack cocaine. Oh, my God. Okay? Yes. The whole entire recipe, how to make crack cocaine. That's what it says right here. So the guy walks into the judge, and the judge sees this shirt and how you mix it, how you put it together, how you make it, all this other... Do you think in your right mind the judge is not going to throw the book at you? Of course he's going to throw the book at you. Are you retarded? Why did you even walk in there with that shirt, man, or that whatever you're wearing? It's dumb. It's a hell of a drug. I, you just whatever. took words out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, whatever, that. man. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Well, <laughs> yeah. We here at MSC, yeah. we deal with the liquid cocaine, yeah. Ooh, the energy drink. It right. was picking my ass. I know I yeah. gave all these guys a cocaine energy drink. Before. You, didn't, show. you didn't give me one. Where's mine? Yeah, it's in here. Wired. Loving it. Well, I, the, I like the taste and all, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm fine. Well, <laughs> these guys are just a bunch of pansies. Well, the, yeah. well, hold on. When before the show started, I said, "Hey, who's got their can with them?" And I hold it, held up the can. I said, "You guys know that you just got, you guys just drank three and a half Red Bulls, right?" And they all looked at me like, "Huh? <laughs> really? No Man. way? Yes, I. No, I. Uh, uh. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you drank three. <laughs> of them. Look at the can and yep. a monster yep. and a monster. <laughs> That's how baller I am. I haven't had a heart attack yet. I had, <laughs> uh, but I had, I had two of them before the show, so I'm good. All right. So the guy, the guy takes, the guy takes the uh, his his. I guess scr- uh, uh, strolled through court with a cocaine or crack cocaine sweater on, and he, and he I guess he's uh, thinking he's not going to uh, get uh, uh, the book thrown at him. Well, he did, right, Joe Dirt? Yes. All right. What did the judge do? All right. Well, continuing with the story, the, like you said, the man's shirt included instructions for making crack cocaine. Michael Weinstein, the the attorney who took a picture of the shirt, said, "Quote: I realized the gentleman who was up at the podium in front of a judge." Charged with trafficking is wearing a jacket with a how-to manual 
of how to cook crack cocaine. I couldn't believe the, the gumption this, this person had. The defendant has not yet been identified. Weinstein told Local 10 the judge at, at the court appearance remained professional and did not comment on the man's choice of clothing. Oh, well, you know what? The reason why he didn't uh, say anything about his, his clothing was he was trying to be PC about it. He didn't want you know this, this to spread out there in the news. Well, it did. It spread out there in the news, and now all of a sudden, you know, everybody in God's green earth is reporting on it now. So, of course, but whatever. What else you got? Story out of Seattle, Washington. Some 300 Chinese Foxconn employees who manufacture Xbox 360 machines said they would throw themselves from their China plant if demands for lost wages were not met. China Jasmine Revolution, an activist revolutionary organization with a name borrowed from the Tunzian Revolt that set off the Middle East unrest, reported that employees made their demands for a wage increase for 100 employees on January 2nd. <laughs> Management at Foxconn, the world's largest contract electronics manufacturer, and a crucial link... In what the hell was that? <laughs> Excuse me. He's got a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> it's his it's his brother Ricky. <laughs> Safety. Yeah. Right. And, and a crucial link in the supply chains of Apple, Dell, Nintendo, and Song responded with an ultimatum. Employees could quit with one month's compensation awarded for each year with the plant or go back to working. So basically, all these nut jobs over in Japan decided, you know, okay, uh, we're we're going to uh, uh, stage a protest, get on top of this building, and jump from it, and stop making Xbox 360s because they don't get enough money to make those. Correct? Well, you know what? Look, if you want to jump from a building, go for it. The nerds won't love you, but you know, if you're going to jump, jump, dude. No one's going to stop you. I mean, if you if you don't like your job and you, and you think that you're not getting anywhere with it, then why are you even there? That's my question to you. So why yeah. would you even stick around and even do your, you know, do do the job that you're you're hired to do, and then you decide? Look, there's a lot of lot of unions here in in Cleveland, Ohio, you know, and you don't see these guys going and saying, you know, we don't get our fair share, blah blah blah. We're gonna jump from whatever, you know. These crazy fuckers in Japan, they'll do anything, man. They'll jump from a bridge. <laughs> they'll jump from whatever. It's, a, it's, it's insane, dude. It's nuts. I don't understand it, though. And they will land on their feet. Uh, yeah. Right. They're like cats. <laughs> Ninjas, more like it. They're like cats, dude. Ninja cats. Jackie Chan? What? Yeah, really. You ever see that commercial with Jackie Chan? Which Where one? The one that he's uh, with the fruit juice or whatever it is, and yeah. Yeah, he flies scary. through the air and... <laughs> Yeah, retarded. But what the hell are you talking about? I missed, I missed that. <laughs> right, whatever. Yeah. All right, last one. Go ahead, Joe. All right, well, this happens to be the last story that I have. We're good. So a Florida woman who reportedly became incensed while watching Judge Judy on TV was arrested Sunday after she allegedly struck her husband on the head with a hammer. <laughs> awesome. Janet Knowles, 62 years old, was charged with aggravated battery following the bizarre incident that happened around 1030 in the morning at a residence in Jupiter and Jupiter, at a residence in Jupiter. That's what it says. Is that Florida? Yes. <laughs> Figures. I thought it was the planet. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Might have been. Knowles, seen here in this picture, she looks decrepit, by the way, is locked up in jail and placed on ten thousand dollars bond, according to police report. Yeah. Oh yeah! Wow. She looks lovely, doesn't she? Yeah, she All right. Get a fuck up face. <laughs> Looks like she was hit with a few hammers. The oh. crypt keeper. Yes. Where's the ugly stick? What? Uh, <laughs> according to the police she report. Broke it. According to the police report, she attacked her husband, Larry Knowles, 65 years old. Since quote, she was upset because Judge Judy was on the television. Wow. I would be too. And <laughs> I didn't know she was still kicking. Yeah. <laughs> and quote, Larry was watching Judge Judy, and that made her mad. The syndicated program stars Judith, I can't Whatever her name is, yeah. The report does not specifically indicate why Knowles was so upset about Judge Judy. The victim, who was seated in a recliner... Maybe, like, may, wait, stop. Wait. Maybe he was sitting in his recliner whacking off to Judge Judy, <laughs> and that's why she's pissed <laughs> off at him right now, because she, he doesn't whack off to her. So Maybe. that's probably the reason why. And first, you know, the other thing is, too, she's... She's got all upset. She got upset because he was watching Judge Judy. Well, you know, I would kind of get upset too if she if he was watching Judge Judy too because I, that show is retarded, anyways, and I wouldn't watch I it in the first place. But 
He should be out there trying to find a job instead of sitting there watching the soap operas during the day or whatever the case may be. And why was he home during the day? He should be working, correct? That's when, when, when does Judge Judy come on? Like 10 o'clock in the morning or something like that? 11 o'clock or whatever it is? I'm sorry, I'm not 84 years old uh, and I watch <laughs> Judge Judy. Well, you, I thought you watched Jeopardy at night too, but whatever. Judge no. Joe Brown is where it's at. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you are just ruining it for us. Wow. You know what? Just, so cut, cut his mic. mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done talking. Thank you. Yes. So pretty. Do you have any? <laughs> do you have any stories? Chris? Do you have an affliction shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. I do not. But I do. I have something. Uh, I have you. something. I need Joe Dirt's assistance, though. Okay. All right. All right, Joe. That that uh, mouse that's in there. I'm gonna flip over to the screen. Chris's pink mouse. Yeah. No, the other mouse. Okay. All right. Now the the video that's on your screen right now. Okay. Yes. You'll see that uh, you know it's a Saint Elmo's Fire song. You know, you remember that song from back in the '80s? Yes. Okay. Now it's been all Tebow-fied. It's been Tebow-fied. Okay. So now they, they actually t took this song, and the original singer actually wrote a song about Tim Tebow. Oh, my God. So, Joe Dirt, take the mouse, hit play for me. Tebow. Here we go. Hey, I wasn't. I had enough. Okay, listen. First I, off, I was about to start Tebowing right now. <laughs> okay, you Tebow all you want, but here's the thing. Okay, this whole entire song, you can kill that video, Joe Dirty, if you uh, click over the second button on the um, see that little little switch pad up there. Nope. You, it's right there. It's a gray thing, dude. It's got switches right, right there. In front of you. Yeah. Like by the remote. Under yeah. the left monitor. Yeah. Left, left, left side. Left. No, no. That's All your right. Left. That's your right. Oh, my that's God. Your right hand side. My guess is showing up. There you go. <laughs> Click so it. Okay. Second one. Second one. Second oh, one. You know, okay, yeah, now, now stop the video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Look. Oh, my God. My, my guests have to go and do this for him. Yes. Wait, I, it didn't work. There, your guests don't know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you don't know anything, no, dude. No. Well, all right, cool. Damn. We what? should just finish out the song because we were all enjoying the song. Were you? I wasn't. I was not not at all. My guests weren't. So. I almost started singing. <laughs> I actually Did felt you like really? Rick no. <laughs> this is from the Lady Gaga listener. Sorry. Hi, Hi. mom. Hi, mom. So basically, <laughs> basically, they wrote this song for Tim Tebow, thinking that his his Broncos are going to win and whatever, and he's God Almighty, and he's you know the 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 chosen one, and he's going to bring a. A championship home to the Denver Broncos. No, he's not. The guy's a tool. I'm sorry. The guy's a tool. Because he's a winner. They also they, <laughs> right. They, they also they also they also stated that he ran for 31.6 yards or whatever the case may be, and and if you put that together, that's 316. That's God and blah blah blah. And I'm like, it's a sign. It's a sign. But who cares, dude? <laughs> 
He's not. Look, the Broncos are going to lose. So I'm going to take my predictions right now. Who do you think is going to win, the Broncos or the other guys? Let's go around the horn. Joe Dirt, you start. All right, well, Chris doesn't know what he's talking about. But I do. The Broncos are playing the Patriots. Right. Tom it's going to be the Patriots. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah. yeah. So who do you think is going to win? The Patriots. Patriots. Okay. Patriots. I think Tom Brady's going to show Tebow how to put a gun up his ass. Awesome. <laughs> and, and pull the trigger. Hopefully. 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 No lube. No lube. No lube neither. It all works out well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Appar- right. Apparently we condone murder here on <laughs> I guess. the MSC Radio Network. Allegedly. <laughs> all right. So everybody is in consensus that the Patriots are going to win? Yeah. All right. Uh, pretty much, right? Mm, yeah. All right. Let's hope. I, uh, I I hope the Patriots win too. But um, people, the bookies down in, in Vegas are actually saying that, um, yeah, the Broncos are going to win this. And uh, they put your money on the Broncos. I myself, I'm not a betting type of person, but um, I'm actually thinking about taking it up, taking that bet. Yeah. With somebody, you know. So, Jordan, you want to bet a buck that the Broncos win? <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay. I need that dollar to buy dinner for my date tomorrow. Oh, Jesus Christ! After the coupon, you got coupons, man. Yes. Yeah. Well, I still, I still need the dollar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dollar menu, baby. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. Right. No value meals. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Can't afford that. <laughs> That's right. All right. Guys are pushing it. All right. I want to thank our guests for coming in tonight. Uh, go ahead and check them out on Facebook. Uh, go ahead and plug your stuff, guys. Where do you where, where they can find you? Facebook.com slash rise to the number two. Redemption. Rise is R-Y-Z-E to redemption. Okay. You got a reverb or anything like that? Yes. Okay. What is that? Uh, same thing. Like okay. Reverb.com slash. Pure volume, MySpace. All that same all thing? Yep. yep. All right. Twitter. Twitter. We have a Twitter, don't there we? Is, Twitter. There is Twitter. a P in redemption. Don't there is, yeah. <laughs> don't, uh, <laughs> don't forget. <laughs> yes. Really. <laughs> redemption. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something else, but whatever. <laughs> My mind's in the gutter right now, but okay. Uh, all right, and so, he's a married man, too. Right. That's creepy. All right. I uh, I will have all the links up on our website. Go to uncensorednetnoise.com, and you will be able to check this show out and all the other shows that we did in the past five years. Joe Dirt always recommends listening to the very first show that we ever did because it was a total train wreck five years ago. <laughs> and uh, it's still a train wreck. With the Radio Shack microphones. Exactly. Now we're... We're big boys with big toys right now, yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like to uh, thank you guys for having us on. Yeah, yeah, thanks thanks you very much. Uh, you know, guys, you guys, you guys, time. You guys really are fun. welcome to come back to, our, to see us anytime and, oh, yeah. you know, and Definitely. hang out or whatever. And uh, do let me know when you guys are going to uh, go out and uh, perform because I like we'll to go do. check out your first show. Okay. We'll hook you up. Fuck yeah. Awesome. And speaking of hookup, maybe we'll throw this out there, Chris, you know, the other half of this building, Creative House Studios. Yeah, if you guys, uh, if you got, if there's a local band out there that that's looking to uh, actually uh, do a music video, we have the biggest green screen on the East Coast in this building that we're at right now. Wow. So if any band out there is looking for any kind of like um, uh, music video being done, or if they need something done uh, here at the uh, the Creative House Studios, uh, give uh, them a call by going to their website at creativehousestudios.com. That's creativehousestudios.com. And uh, they have, like I said, if, if you go to their website, you check out their pictures, your mouth will drop. I mean, this thing is huge. You think, you know, uh, a little green screen with like a little curtain or something like that. No, this thing is huge. It's like a huge-ass warehouse. It's all painted green. It's really, really cool. Uh, check them out, creativehousestudios.com. And also check out our other sponsor, uh, Redux Beverage, Cocaine Energy Drink. Go to their website, drinkcocaine.com. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, they got the brand new shots out there, and you can check oh, those out too. <laughs> so, on that note, guys, we're going to get the hell up out of here. I want to thank our guests for coming in. Thank you. Check them out thank on their again. web. Check them out on Facebook, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, catch them real soon at uh, a local event like Peabody's. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe and maybe further down the road at Definitely Madison at Madison Square Garden. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Or taking on talents to South Beach. Yeah. yeah. Or collaborating with Lady Gaga. Oh my God. Yeah. You just uh, fucked up the show. Cut the mic. We're out, guys. Peace. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. I love you. Okay. Bye. I'm not even gonna say anything. It's so embarrassing.
What the fuck is going on? And crew at Uncensored Men. We'd like to thank the sponsors that make our weekly show possible. Cocaine Energy Supplement. Lifestyle Limousine. Intense Frequency Production. Guitar Center in North Olmsted, Ohio. Go the Printer Guy. Broken Fan Media. And Pete99.com. Web hosting done right. Did you miss any of the show? What the hell happened to you guys? Actually, we were hoping you could tell us. Then check out our website at MorningShowCentral.com and visit the archives for this and other past shows. Also, check out the games, photo galleries, chat rooms, and more. We're supposed to be fighting for truth, justice, and the American way here. The views and opinions expressed on this show are not controlled by the FCC. Our wives, girlfriends, game lovers, or favorite barnyard animals. And if you have any complaints, call someone who cares. <laughs> be sure to tune in next week for another sick and twisted edition of Uncensored Med Noise. Ah, oh, conspiracy. Conspiracy theories and masturbation. I suspected there was a connection. If you have any questions, comments, bitches, complaints, or great stories about barnyard fetishes, shoot us an email at show at morningshowcentral.com. And be sure to check out the live show next Friday night, beginning at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on morningshowcentral.com. Must be great to be able to make a living doing something you love. From Chris and the rest of the gang here at Uncensored Net Noise, have a great weekend, and we'll catch you next week.